Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. Glad to be coming to you today. Listen, Dorian is right outside. <laughs> but isn't God good? Look at the prayers and what the Lord has done. Now, first of all, we're praying for the people uh, in the Bahamas, and, and, and we will uh, see what we can do, what we're doing as a, as a national church uh, to help with what have transpired there. And uh, I thank God, I tell you, um, uh, God is so good and, uh, and the Lord has spared Florida. The Lord is sparing, has spared Georgia, um, the coastline of Florida, the coastline of, of Georgia. The storm is coming up the coast here. And I believe that God's going to spare us. Now, we're going to get rain. We're going to get wind. Uh, uh, and we're praying for the people uh, in the barrier islands and on the outer banks and, and uh, as, as the storm moves. You know, my friends, that, there, is, there is a reason for uh, even these storms. There is a ecological uh, benefit to the storms. Do you not know that if, if we could just magically do away with all hurricanes and all tornadoes and all inclement weather, um, do you, the unforeseen effects that it would have on uh, our uh, uh, ecological balance would be, uh, would be catastrophic. God knows what he's doing. I was talking to my mama yesterday. We were talking about Dorian, and my mom came up with something so great. She said, well, son, the, the same God who's seen us through all of the rest of them, he'll see us through this also. And I said, mom, you know what? You're right, and uh, I, I just take that to heart. Now, we're having service tonight. We're going to walk in the word of the Lord. And I want to invite you to come and join me here at the Upper Room, um, Church of God in Christ. Now, we want you to use your own discretion and to be safe. One of the things I'm concerned about is, is this. I'm concerned about the lowering of the bar. Now, to be perfectly honest, when I got saved back in 1977, it would almost take a bum like what we dropped on Hiroshima to stop us from attending church. Uh, we, it, it, this, the, the, the snowstorm, it couldn't be the forecast. It, it couldn't be flurries and, and, and flurries would stop the service. It would have to be a blizzard or something and you just can't get there, you can't get out and then people would stay home. I noticed as time has passed, uh, God's blessed us more and more. We have better and better automobiles. Uh, you, you remember when all of us, this, this is going to date me a little bit, <laughs> all of us, uh, most, m many of us remember back in the day where when it came to tires, the issue wasn't whether or not you could, you'd have a good tire on your car. The issue was whether or not you had a good retread on your car. And I, I, I can remember buying the retreads and getting out there and, and uh, when the retread would come off the tire. But we, 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 we went to church and, and we, the, the, the things that we had were not as safe and were not as nice as what we have now. But it seems to me, the more God has blessed us, uh, the, the, the easier it has become to just stay home. Uh, uh, well, we've got to stay home. We've got to make sure we're safe. Well, well run the numbers and, and see how many people uh, during storms uh, die at home versus how many die at church, so forth and so on. The point I'm making is if the weather is inclement and you don't feel safe, stay home and, and, uh, and, uh, and be safe because we love you and, and we'll see you Sunday or whenever we do. But don't be that type of believer who constantly lowers the bar. Uh, it, if it's raining, I can't attend church. Oh, it's too hot today, and I can't attend church. Um, I have a cold, and I can't attend church. My children have to go to school, so we can't attend weeknight services. I notice that parents who, who do that, once their kids graduate and they're in college, parents still, for whatever reason, don't get to church through the week because you've developed a habit and you got into uh, actually uh, a pattern that is very difficult now to break out of. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So we will see what the Lord allows and what the Lord does. And if it's a situation where you can't come, then please stay home and be safe. But we are looking forward to service tonight and uh, to coming out and uh, uh, hearing the word of the Lord. 
walking in the scriptures because our God is good and our God is kind. And let us continue to pray that the Lord will turn the storm, that the Lord will protect our uh, coasts, that the Lord will protect us inland, that the Lord will protect our nation. I'll close with this. Someone asked me one time, I said this before, uh, wouldn't, what do you think about these storms and, and uh, the hurricanes and, and the things that are, are going on in the world today? And I said, the thing that, that surprises me, the thing that I find uh, just utterly surprising uh, and amazing is that as sinful as society is, I don't understand why we don't have these storms every day. It is the goodness of God. It is the goodness of the Lord because we're living in a world where we've thumbed our nose at the Lord and we, we, we've said to, uh, to, to the God of the Bible, the God who made everything, many of us have said to him, we don't need you. We don't care what you think. We're going to live the way we want. We're going to do the way, whatever we want to do. And look at God. He gives us sunshine. He gives us rain for the most part. He gives us such pristine weather. He's, he's blessed us so, and uh, I, I thank God. I thank God for his goodness, his mercy, and his kindness. So we'll see you tonight, those who can come. And if, if things change and they get to where none of us can get here, then we won't, and we'll come to church again when, it, uh, when we can. But uh, uh, we're in the hands of the Lord, and I thank God. For you. God bless you. Pray that your day is going good. Look forward to seeing you in service tonight. God bless. Be safe.